uh, well, I like to talk about uh, Man, Economy, and State with Power and Market. Um, and, and that's a book that was um, republished by um, the Mises Institute. Initially, there were two separate books, Man, Economy, and State, and Power and Market, uh, because the second part, Power and Market, was much too radical. Um, it suggested that we really did not need a government. It was a part of the book that was to talk about government intervention. And um, so Rothbard, in, in that part of the book, um, suggested that, in fact, government, inter government um, intervened by the very fact of its existence, because governments could not exist without taxation. And it, as we know, taxation is a violent intervention into the market. It's akin to robbery. Um, someone takes your money coercively. Um, whether that's, you know, whatever your ethical judgment on, 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 on government taxation is, uh, the fact of the matter, the economic fact of the matter is that it's a coercive exchange. You're forced to give your money up. In any case, that's why the, uh, the pu original publishers of Man, Economy, and State cut out the last chapter, and then that later became a separate book in 1970 that was issued. Uh, the Mises Institute, um, uh, a few years back, then decided to issue a, a scholar's edition of, of Man, Economy, and State. And in that, they combined both bu bu books, so that now it was the unified whole that Rothbard had uh, initially envisioned. Now, let me say a few other things about Man, Economy, and State. I've called it before the book that saved economics. Uh, before that book was written um, in 1962, before it was published in 1962, the Austrian economics had almost completely died out. Uh, there were a few Austrian economists who were writing in the 1950s. They tended to be students of Ludwig von Mises, who was giving a seminar in, at New York University in New York City. And Rothbard was one of the attendees, uh, as was Israel Kirzner and uh, Henry Hazlitt and a number of other uh, now famous Austrian economists. But what occurred was that no one was listening to these people. There was just a small group. Mises was teaching them. He was keeping the ideas alive. So Rothbard decided to write a text that would be um, uh, accessible to college students. That was going to be Man, Economy, and State. But as, as he progressed in his writing, he actually found that Mises had not covered all of the topics in economics in his huge treatise, Human Action. Um, there were many other th things in human action, like uh, the philosophy, um, uh, comments and insights about culture, uh, sociology, and so on. But the economics um, was there, but it assumed a lot that you knew a lot of, uh, of economics to begin with. So what Rothbard set out to do was to develop economics from the simple fact that human beings act, that they start from purposes that they themselves know, and they then use means to achieve these purposes in the most efficient manner. And so Rothbard, I don't use the word, spun out all of these implications of, of human action. And what it showed really was that the most efficient form of, of, of the economy is one in which there is a completely free market with no government intervention, with no government disturbance or interference with people's ex free exchanges. And what the book shows is really that what's called the market is not a thing, but it's simply the network of all the voluntary exchanges that we all make every day.